what's up everybody thank you for checking me out my name is echo simpson i'm a ghanian um and i live in ghana well you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it it was recommended or suggested to you on youtube basically my youtube channel is to connect africans and the motherland to africans in the diaspora so thank you for checking me out if this is your first time of watching my videos kindly subscribe to my youtube channel <music> Yeah. What brought us here this early afternoon? They want to know if somebody is chasing us, then they can hide us. But I have informed them that nobody is chasing us. We are here to fellowship with them this afternoon. We are here to reconnect, to have that form of platform to create. African integration as our brothers and sisters coming back home. So I've told them that this is our mission here this afternoon. So brother, so now I'm going to that one. And I'm going to eat here now. For us in every traditional gathering, when we gather like this, we need to invoke the spirit of our ancestors to come and be in our midst to be witness of whatever that is going to happen and also give us our blessing and we do that by pouring libation but uh, in every traditional gathering like this this plant that we call nyenya it's one of the powerful plants we have around it has a spiritual connotation that is able to purify and repair evil spirits away. So in every gathering, you will see our chiefs, our queens, the elders of the family having this plant on their neck. It just repair away evil spirits. Yes. Turn off your neck. She doesn't mind. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just sit down. So just be a one hand. Before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about what goes into naming ceremony in Ghana. In Ghana, when a child is born, the child is confined in the room for seven days. We believe in reincarnation. We believe that there's life after death. We believe that some children, they are travelers. They are just passing through. So if the child is able to live for seven days, then on the eighth day, we do what we call the outdoorry. After the outdoorry, we we'll proceed with the naming ceremony. Uh, so many things go into the name. The sequence of your birth, the circumstances surrounding your birth, even the festivity surrounding your birth, can inform the name they should give you. You can be named after a prominent person. Like I said, when you live a good life, you become an ancestor. You are likened to be a saint or the just man in the family. And if you don't live a good life, nobody will name you after anybody. That is why it's very important that you live a good life. Leave footprint and legacy behind so that your name will be giving to other children so that they will emulate. We believe names are very important. Children are able to pick the names of their forebearers. So names are sacred here. So when a child is born and they are confined on the eighth day, we do the naming. We use two emblems. I cannot name my own child. My father or immediate elder in the family has to do the naming for me. So we use water and gin. In the olden days, what they do is they will dip their hand in the gin, dip their hand in the water, and drop it in the tongue of the child. At the early stage, you know, water and gin, the color is the same, but the taste is different. They are teaching the child values. 
exist to differentiate between good and bad, even at that very early stage. That is why we use water and gin. But today, all of you, you are grown up. We can't drop our hand in the water and gin and on your tongue. Yeah. So what we'll do is, if I mention your name, you come and take your seat. Then I will tell you the name that the family is giving you and its meaning. So we'll call upon our sister, Rishanda, please take your seat. Rishanda, you were born on Tuesday. And the, day, the name that the family is giving you is Abena Obu. Abena Obu. Abu simply means rock. Somebody who is very solid. Somebody that a lot of people depend on. You have become like a pillar that a lot of people depend on. You have become like a, a shoulder that people depend on. So the family is giving you Abena Obu. Rock. Solid. That is the meaning of your name. Abena Obu. Okay. Yeah, stand up. Sit down. One. Stand up. Two. And three. Great. They are going to apply the eggs on your skin. In Ghana, we use two clay. Symbolically, we use the red and the white clay. The red clay we use it when we are mourning. The white clay we use it when we are triumphant. Or when we are victorious. You are born on Wednesday. So the name that the family is giving you is Kwekuda. Does it simply mean a strong matter? A strong matter. A strong matter is does it? Does it in our local language means a strong matter? The family is saying you are a strong man. You are you 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 you, you are a pace setter, a very strong person that lead the way. You have become like a pivot that people pass through you for their sources. And today the family is saying you are a strong matter, a very solid person. You are very strong, mentally strong, physically strong. You are strong in anything that you do. So the family is naming you Kweku Daze, the strong person. One, two, three. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. You were born on Thursday, and the name that the family is giving you is Abba or Brimpon. Yeah. Abba or Brimpon. In the Asian, we don't name women or Brimpon, but today we are saying that what men can do, women can do, and even do it better. Great Asian name, which was just reserved for the men. Today we are calling you Abba Obrimpon. Obrimpon simply means prominent, great person. That is who you are. One, two, and three. And the name that the family is giving you is Abena and Poma. Thank you for Dr. Pam and Kroma. Wow! Yeah. And Kroma simply means completeness. Two and three. You were born on Monday, just like me. Your name that the family is giving you is Ajua Azapa. Ajua Means the precious one, the one that we treasure, the one that we hold high esteem. As a part, is your name, means the special one, the precious, the one that the family through esteem, the one that comes and brings a lot of blessing to the family. So today, the family is giving you Adwa as a part. Adwa as a part is your name, the precious one.
thank you very much for accepting me into your family. I'm happy to be home, and I and I will be back. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for accepting me into your family. Um, hope for me to come back home. Um, I hope I make you proud. <laughs> So the first movement, they are going to go this way first. So you, you, you stand there like this, this one. Uh -huh. Then you push your hand like this. So you clap. One, two, three. Let's go one more time. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. So this time you are going to bounce. So you go like this. Ha, ha, ha. Let's try one more time. Ha, ha. Ready, go. Ha, ha, ha. Another one. Ha, ha, ha. Another one. Ha, another one. Ha, ha, ha. Bounce. Pull down a little bit, then clap. Bring it down. One. No, yes, only, only this. So, one, two, side. One, two, bounce. One, two, bounce. Look at my chest. Five, five, bounce, 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 bounce. Up, 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 up. Very good. Three,